Okay, so this is join two of our joined handwriting. Make sure you're sitting comfortably and you're holding your pen properly. Um, as usual, we're going to start off with some letter patterns using the full height of the line and then we'll progress to doing it using the lines accurately as we would in our books. So, starting on the line, I'm going to do a letter I straight down and that's where we'd finish. This is where our leading line for the letter C is going to begin. So we're going to go up and over and round and back again. Leading line diagonally to the top, to the top down and back up and to the bottom and then diagonally up and over to the top of that letter C and round. Diagonally to the top and down, diagonally over to the top of that letter C and back round. And do the same with a letter A. There's that diagonal joint up and over to the top of the letter C, round and then back up and down with a small stick at the end. And diagonal joint to the top of that letter A, round, up, down. Diagonal to the top of the I, down, diagonally up to the top of that letter I, round and down. Try with the letter D now, it's exactly the same movement, diagonally to the top and then all the way to the top of that letter D and down. Diagonal join for the I, diagonally to the top and round, up, down. Just help if you spread out your joins to begin with it, make sure that you get that diagonal join. Okay, two more letters to practice. We'll try with a G now. So there's my diagonal to the top of the I, diagonal to the top of that letter G, round, up, down and under. Diagonal, round, up, down, under. Diagonal, round, up, down, under. Always aiming for that diagonal join. And last of all, an S. You can see that diagonal much more clearly when I do a letter S. Stretch it out. Up and over, round and in. When you've practiced and you're feeling more confident, then you can have a go at writing those letters at, with the correct sizing between the lines. Remembering at all times to keep those, those small letters, those counter letters, exactly the same height. The D goes up to the top. The round bit of the D is the same height as the letter A and the letter C. The G just goes halfway down the next line. And you can keep practicing those letter patterns until you've got your joins perfect and you are happy to move on, always aiming for those diagonal joins. Once you've practiced and you're happy with those two letter combinations, then we can start to put them together into sentences. We can begin using three lines just to make sure we're getting our letters correctly sized, doing those diagonal joins correctly and keeping all those small letters the same size. When you're happy, then we can go back to the correct letter size and use our lines correctly. Always aiming for those diagonal joins. Remember, B's don't join on. Silly sentences, but it helps us practice those letter joins that we've learned so far. B 
please don't join on. Have a practice. Remember, practice makes perfect.